All right, all right. Good morning. Good morning. This is NXM Traders No Excuse Mentality Podcast, where we break barriers, embrace excellence, and unlock limitless potential. It is July 11th, 2023. And today I want to talk to you guys about the importance of asking the right question. And it's not really about asking, how am I going to get there? But rather, who can help me get there? When we set ambitious goals and dreams for ourselves, it is natural to start thinking about the steps and strategies needed to achieve them. We often ask ourselves, how am I going to get there? What resources do I need? What actions should I take? While these questions are important, there is another question that holds even greater significance. Who can help me get there? We live in a world interconnected with an abundance of knowledge, experience, and expertise. No matter how talented or determined we may be, we cannot accomplish everything on our own. We need the support, guidance, and collaboration of others to truly reach our full potential. By shifting our focus from how to who, we open ourselves up to a world of possibilities. We recognize that there are people who have already walked the path we aspire to follow. They have faced similar challenges, encountered similar obstacles, and achieved the success we seek. These individuals can offer us valuable insights, mentorship, and guidance. The power of who lies in the relationships we cultivate. It's about finding the right mentors, coaches, and peers who can share their knowledge challenge our perspective, and inspire us to be better. It's about surrounding ourselves with individuals who believe in our potential and support us in our journey. Asking the right who questions allow us to tap into the collective wisdom and experience of others. It helps us identify role models who can serve as guides and sources of inspiration. It enables us to leverage their expertise, connections, and resources to accelerate our progress. So how can we start asking the right who questions? It begins with self-awareness and clarity about our goals. Identify the areas where you need support or expertise. Reflect on your strengths and weaknesses and acknowledge the gaps in your knowledge or experience. Once you have identified your needs, seek out individuals who possess the skills, knowledge, or connections that can help you bridge those gaps. Be proactive in reaching out to potential mentors or collaborators. Approach them with a humble and genuine spirit, expressing your admiration for their achievements and your eagerness to learn from them. Demonstrate your commitment and willingness to put in the work required to achieve your goals. Remember, the right mentors or collaborators are not there to do the work for you, but to guide and support you along the way. Building strong relationship based on trust and mutual respect is crucial. Nurture these relationships by actively engaging with your mentors or collaborators. Seek their feedback, ask thoughtful questions, and demonstrate your gratitude for their guidance. Be open to receiving constructive criticism and applying their advice to your journey. Additionally, remember that the who extends beyond individual mentors or collaborators. It includes communities, networks, and organizations that share your passions and goals. Engage in these communities, attend events, and participate in relevant discussions. Surround yourself with like-minded individuals who can support, provide support, inspiration, and opportunities for growth. While asking how is important, asking who can even be more transformative. Recognize that success is rarely achieved alone. Embrace the power of collaboration and seek out those who can help you on your journey. Surround yourself with mentors, collaborators, and communities that share your vision. Together, we can achieve greatness and make a long-lasting impact on the world. Now, finding the right people who can support you on your journey requires proactive steps 
and strategic approach. Uh, here are some steps you can take to identify and connect with the right individual. Number one, clarify your goals and needs. Before seeking out the right people, it is important to have a clear understanding of your goals and the specific areas where you need support or expertise. Identify the skills, knowledge, or connections that will be most valuable in helping you achieving your goals. Number two, research and seek inspiration. Look for individuals who have already achieved what you are aspired to accomplish. Research successful people in your field of interest for those who have overcome similar challenges. Read their stories, watch their interviews, and gather insights about their journey. This can help you identify potential mentors or collaborators. Number three, attend networking events and conferences. Attend industry-related conferences, seminars, or workshops. These events provide excellent opportunities to meet like-minded individuals, potential mentors, or industry experts. Engage in conversations, ask questions, and exchange contact information to stay connected. <clears throat> Number four, join professional communities and organizations. Become an active member of professional communities, industry associations, or relevant online forums. These communities provide platform for networking, knowledge sharing, and mentorship opportunities. Engage in discussion, seek advice, and contribute your own expertise to establish relationship with others. Number five, seek, seek referrals and recommendations. Reach out to your existing network, including friends, colleagues, and acquaintances, and ask for recommendations or referrals to individuals who may be able to help you. Personal connections can often provide valuable introductions to the right people. Number six, utilize online platforms. Leverage online platforms such as, just as uh, LinkedIn, which I use a whole lot, professional networking websites, or specialized communities to connect with individuals in your field of interest. Utilize the search functionality to find people with specific expertise or backgrounds. Send personalized messages to express your admiration and interest in connecting with them. I do this constantly. Number seven, engage in mentorship program. Look for mentorship programs or initiatives within your industry or educational institutions. These programs can pair you with experienced professionals who can guide and support you on your journey. Take advantage of mentorship opportunities and be proactive in seeking advice and feedback. Number eight, build meaningful relationships. Once you have identified potential mentors or collaborators, focus on building genuine and meaningful relationships. Approach them with humility, respect, and a genuine interest in learning from their experiences. Show appreciation for their time and expertise and be open to feedback and guidance. Now remember guys, finding the right people takes time and effort. Be patient and persistent in your search. Not every connection will turn into a mentorship or collaboration, but each interaction can provide valuable insights and expand your network. Be proactive, take the initiative, and stay open to new opportunities. With dedication and genuine desire to learn and grow, you will find the right people who can support you on your journey to success. This is something that I uh, take very seriously now. If you do not, if you do not speak to people out of your circle, you will never open new doors. You will never expand your mind if you continue to speak with the same people over and over again. That's why it is important for you to have a purpose in every conversation that you have, to meet new people, to engage with new people. Yesterday on this core, I uploaded a picture of a car in front of a um, gym that I will go work out. And, you know, the cars that are there are all... Um, expensive luxury cars and and there's a reason for it i don't put the car to brag i put the car first because it motivates me um to continue to want more 
And number two is because I've been strategically on why I chose where I work out because I'm surrounded with people that I can have conversations that may might have the opportunity to open doors that I would never be able to open by myself, introduce me to people that maybe I do not have access to by myself, have conversations that are meaningful, learn from new people, engage with new people. So there's a reason, strategic reason of why I go and work out where I work out because I'm surrounded with the people that I want to learn from. Okay. So I encourage you for you to have new communications, new people to speak to, introduce yourself to new people. And this is applying it to myself too. I'm not, I'm going to, I'm going to be honest. I'm not the very best in doing this, but I have to force myself in doing this. Okay. Um, yesterday I had in the gym for the first time, spoke to a guy, his name is Aníbal and he came to me and he asked me about an equipment and he introduced himself and I introduced myself and I was like, wait a minute, I got to keep continuing to do this more, right? Because that's the only way that I'm going to find out who was driving that Ferrari, right? So I encourage you guys, it's not about asking, you know, how I can get somewhere or how can I open this door or how can I access this or how can I get better? You know, sometimes the question is who can help me open that door? Who can help me get better? Who can help me change my life? Because I guarantee you, for the, the more people you speak to, the more opportunities you will have in life to do anything that you want to do. And remember, you are also somebody else's who, right? You are the, the answer to someone else's problem. You are also the door to someone else. You're also the opportunity that someone else is looking for to help them get to the next level. So even though you are the one asking questions of who can help me, just remember that you are also a who for someone else. All right, everyone, that's it. No Excuse Mentality Podcast, where we break barriers, embrace excellence, and unlock limitless potential. I will see you guys at 930.